What was the name of the first permanent English settlement in the American colonies? Pass. Upton Sinclair's book, The Jungle, is set in what major U.S. city? New York City. In 1773, Ben Franklin tested what form of execution on chickens, a turkey, and a lamb? Electrocu electri electrocution. In Tchaikovsky's popular ballet, Odette is the queen of what birds? Oh, my God. Uh, eagles. What movie character is told by Donkey, you're not ugly. All right, you are ugly, but only at night. Shrek is ugly 24-7. One more time. What movie character is told by Donkey, you're not ugly. All right, you are ugly, but only at night. Shrek is ugly 24-7. Uh, the princess from Shrek. Princess Fiona. What was the name of the first permanent English settlement in the American colonies? Boston. Time. Oh. Did you just think of it? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll give it to you. <laughs> oh, perfect. All right. Hold on. By the way, I wasn't going to give you the princess from Shrek. I couldn't do that because we already gave you Shrek. Yeah. And then you had to say the name. Yeah. So I will tell you this. <laughs> that was a good move to stick with that one. Uh, hold on. We'll see how you do, okay? Sure. All right, John. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I was like... Hot Wings is back. Hey, hey. John's score has been recorded. Okay. It is your turn. All right. Hot Wings' turn on Dumber Than the Show Trivia. Hot Wings edition for $300 begins in three, two, one. What was the name of the first permanent English settlement in the American colonies? Jamestown. Upton Sinclair's book, The Jungle, is set in what major U.S. city? Mm, pass. In 1773, Ben Franklin tested what form of execution on chickens, a turkey, and a lamb? Uh, uh, electrocution. In Tchaikovsky's popular ballet, Odette is the queen of what birds? Uh, swans. What movie character is told by Donkey, you're not ugly. All right, you are ugly, but only at night. Shrek is ugly 24-7. Wait, say that again? What movie character is told by Donkey, you're not ugly. All right, you are ugly, but only at night. Shrek is ugly 24-7. Fiona? Upton Sinclair's book, The Jungle, is set in what major U.S. city? Um... Pittsburgh. Time. Let us score the game. John is back, has a chance to win $300. No chance. No chance. What is the name of the first permanent English settlement in the American colonies? Owing said Jamestown. John of New Jersey, listening on 105.7 The Hawk, said Boston. The answer is Jamestown. One to nothing. <laughs> Upton Sinclair's book, The Jungle, is set in what major U.S. city? Took place in a meatpacking plant. Howing said it was in Pittsburgh. John said New York City. The answer, Chicago. Oh, God. One to nothing, Hot Wings. In 1773, Ben Franklin tested what form of execution on chickens? A turkey and a lamb. Hot Wings said electrocution. John said electrocution. You're both correct. Two to one hot wings. Were they, in Chai were they were the were the animals tied to a kite at the time? <laughs> yes. In my imagination, they sure were. Yeah. In Tchaikovsky's popular ballet, Odette is the queen of what birds? Hot wings went with swans. John said the majestic eagles. Oh, the queen eagle will be so angry. The answer is swans! Three to one hot wings. What movie mm. character is told by Donkey? You're not ugly. All right, you are ugly. But only at night. Shrek is ugly 24-7. Hot wings said Fiona. John said, Princess Fiona, you are both correct, but Hot Wings wins four and two. Sorry, John, I told you I was fired up. Yeah. 
before showing. Yeah, it was. <laughs> You're not happy, John? John knew the Jamestown question about as soon as we said time. I assume you well, knew it. Is I that accurate? Think. Yeah, I did. You didn't yeah. really ask. Well, that's all right. Chicago was my second choice for Upton Sinclair, but wrong is wrong. Ugh. That was all a right. good book, too. It was. <laughs> I never read, right. it. I wish I read it. I'm sure it's funny. Uh, it's hilarious. <laughs> all right, John. Thanks for Thank listening. You Thanks for playing, bud. We'll Thanks, see you in Jersey. Right. See you next time. Good luck yep. with your little boy. Thanks.